growing up, I played plenty of sports. I know, hard to believe, right? I played hockey for as long as I can remember to the end of high school. I was on the soccer team a couple of years at one point. I was on the track team at some point in my life. And I'll always enjoy a leisurely game of golf from time to time. And for a brief period of time, I played tennis. What do all these sports have in common? None of them involve throwing or catching things. I can do neither throw or catch. And what do you do when you can't play the actual sport? You play the video game version. So with that, today I'm looking at Mario Hoops 3 on 3 for the Nintendo DS. Mario's no stranger to sports, and the Mario Sports series is some of the most memorable sports games and some of the most <laughs> But for some reason, nobody talks about Mario Hoops 3 on 3, which I think is stupid because this game not only fully utilizes the DS hardware, but is completely different and creative from most of the other Mario Sports games in its own ways. Being the first Mario sports game at the time dedicated to basketball, the developers were challenged with making this feel less like a normal basketball game and more like a Mario basketball game. And yes, this game still follows the rules of get ball in basket, but it still manages, like every other Mario sports game, to add a little bit of Mario charm to it. The most obvious example of this is the dribble mechanic. Dribbling in this game takes control of the DS's bottom screen. To dribble, you tap on the bottom screen, and depending on where you tap on the screen depends on where the player dribbles the ball. Like say a character's coming at you from the front. Simply tap the screen in the opposite direction to avoid the ball getting swiped from almost literally right underneath your nose. But that's not all dribbling can do. Dribbling over a coin block will give you a coin for every time you hit it. Each coin counts as a point, but you can hold up to 100 at a time which can turn a 3-pointer into a 103-pointer. And of course, this game throws in normal Mario power-ups and items because it's not a Mario sports game without them. Now that we understand the way the game plays, let's get right into it. Immediately when you open up the game, you're introduced to four different options. Challenges, tourney, exhibition, and matchup. Each one is going to offer you a neat little basketball experience. Challenges give you a practice mode that sharpen your skills, a special shot tutorial, and a fun mini game called Dribble Race where you collect 100 coins, then run to the finish as fast as possible. Then there's Tourney. Tourney's a little self-explanatory. You pick from one of three cups, excluding the unlockable one, then you select your team of three from a brilliantly crafted roster that we'll get to later, and then you're thrown straight into a single elimination tournament. This will be your main source of unlockables. Then we get to Exhibition which is just simple pick your character, pick your court, and get playing. Then we have matchup, which is just multiplayer. Each mode plays and looks wonderfully. This game definitely looks like a DS game, but at the same time it doesn't. And what I mean by that is yes, they had limited technology, but wow, they really pushed their limits, because this game looks phenomenal for the DS. The backgrounds are great, the character models are nice and clean, the 2D artwork is some of my favorite artwork in the Mario series, and man is this soundtrack good. We also have the character roster. Everyone you'd expect is here, and some, like Princess Daisy, have swappable outfits, like from her basketball outfit to her tennis outfit. But you can't play as Toad. Oh, and we can't forget, because this game was partially developed by Square Enix, it has Final Fantasy characters. Now, I think a lot of people like this, but I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, so I see these characters and kind of just go... Who? After the characters, we have the stages. Each stage looks and plays great, each with their own neat little gimmick. It's pretty cool seeing Wario get a factory, and once you unlock later levels, you get some of the stuff like the stupid water cord. It's just basketball, but slow. Why? Then there's the ice court, which is my personal favorite because I always enjoy the ice physics and man is the theme for this court good. Overall, Mario Hoops 3 and 3 is a solid Mario Sports experience and a great DS game. It plays, looks, and sounds wonderful. All the while at the same time taking full advantage of the DS hardware. I love this game and it's sad to see it oftenly get overlooked. Anywho, after all this, I've decided I myself am going to get better at basketball. So I'll see you on the courts.